Good night everybody, this is Muhammad Titi from Page. Tonight I'm going to show you how to interface Visual Basic.net with an Arduino serial port to write some data to a simple circuit like this. First you have to go to the Arduino environment and just doing some interfacing code. Okay, here we are launching Arduino. So this is the project. Here's the byte value that I'm gonna <coughs> receive from the serial port by Visual Basic.net or any other program. And this is a binary value. So this is an integer value to be transmit tra to be transformed to zero ones and uh, stored in this. Um, array uh, integer pins for these are the pins the four pins that I'm gonna interface with the lids so here I have four lids and I have four pins as you can see here and all are connecting to the ground from the other side so <clears throat> Here are the bands, as you can see, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And integer mode value, which is the modulus value. The modulus value is the value that is to be, uh, it's, it's the reminder of the division by 2 process. So equals byte value, it is for initiation of a subject. So you can put here a number greater than zero and keep in mind that this value should not be zero at first because we are gonna check it here while byte is not. So this is the uh, division by two process as you, as you know from uh, uh, <coughs> from digital design or from Boolean algebra, how to convert an integer value to a binary. Okay, let's go through the code. Integer i equals zero. This is an indexing for the uh, for the uh, binary array. Video uh, avoid the setup. Put your setup code here. Okay, this is the setup. So I'm initializing the mode for each pin from zero to three pins. The pin number x is output so the four pins are to be output and I'm gonna to start the serial port as you know by a build rate of 9600 then I'm gonna go through this uh, loop program delay 100 millisecond to wait for the serial port for the data to finish uh, to, to reach uh, uh, in the to the serial port to, from the serial port. Now, if the serial port is available, check the avail validity of the serial port by this statement. If the serial port dot available is greater than zero, then first initialize the index to zero, and the byte value is the read value from the serial port. Then this read value is, as you know, an integer value, so I have to convert it to 1 and 0 and store the values in an array or write the values directly by, uh, to the pins. So mode value, actually I'm not storing here uh, the values in uh, an array, I'm writing them directly, so this for the for this video this is not needed, but it may be needed in other videos. Okay, so first mode value, the modulus is the value that we have got from serial.read modulus or the remainder by 2. So for example, if we have 255, as you can see here, example, or let's put any simple example on the notepad here, for example, 255 modulus by 2 will cause 
the 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 value to be one because to be one. Okay, I'm just gonna change the format here. Okay. So So that's it. Equals one. Because two five five by two equals one two seven and the reminder is one. So the reminder is one. And then I'm gonna say the byte value equals the old byte value which is for example in my in our in our examples two five five divided by two. So the new byte value would be as follows. The new byte value is one two seven because we divided two five five by two. Then digital write pins of i i is initially zero, so pin of zero it will pick eight. So pin eight will write one mode value. The mode value is one. Then we will increment i by one and Actually, this statement is not needed because we are going to the, uh, the port. This uh, this sentence causes the uh, this uh, causes this value to be printed in the print screen of the Arduino, as you can see here. This is the print screen, but because we are going to deal with another application to make the uh, serial port busy. This will not work, so I'm going to just put it as a comment for further uses. Then I'm going to go through the loop until I reach zero. So all white values are to be written. Then we are going to compile. Actually, I've just compiled it and uploaded it to the my Arduino Ono. And I'm going to close this program and go to visualbasic.net. So this is the code. I have a module here. So I have um, initiated or declared a variable called available port as an array to store the available ports in. And the selected a serial name as string so the serial name that is selected by the user and a selected bird rate as string also the bird rate that is selected by the by the user from this array which contains almost all the word available board rates for the serial communication and I have declared a port as a new input output port serial ports so for this you have to import this library system dot out input output dot ports and also you have to import this library system dot threading and component method these are the namespaces that are needed for this project now um, <clears throat> byte to send as byte equals h1 forget about this statement and this and this we are not going to use it in our project here so go through the code again try go through a try a try statement console dot write line so this is a prompt to the user please enter uh, please choose a file uh, it was for a um, a serial communication to uh, uploading a hex file to the uh, Arduino, so we are not going to explain this code or go through it, just we have to get to our point. So available port equals the input output ports dot serial port dot get port names and convert them to array and store them to the array variable here. So all the available ports are going to be stored here. If available port dot link is zero, which means that there is no no, no devices connected or no available ports, give this message message on the screen. No devices are connected. And read the key 
then go to 